for pain. And then I wear, like I said before, since I meet everybody first, a pair of uh, revolvers. Not too many folks will, but I ain't too good a shot, so I need all the shots I can get if something should happen. Now, being in the East and seeing those dime novels, you've probably seen this pistol. This is the Colt Peacemaker, 1873 single action armor. Now, I want to show y'all something. I didn't figure there were any critters around here that I would need to shoot, so this is empty. All right, I never carry it around civilized folks uh, loaded if I don't have to. But you also notice that just because I know it's empty, I doesn't mean that I ever pointed at anything. You only point a gun at something you are willing to shoot, something you are willing to destroy. That's a pretty heavy responsibility there. So I'm always real careful with this. So I carry this one in a cross draw holster. Just makes it easier for me to grab a hold on to. It's a 45 caliber. Now this pistol is something a little different. This is a Smith & Wesson Russian. Again, I'll show you there ain't no cartridges in it. And this comes from a Smith & Wesson Model 3 that some of y'all may have seen around. And uh, the Tsar of Russia got a hold of some of them Smith & Wesson Model 3s and said, now, I like that there pistol, but I have a few suggestions for you. So with the Tsar's input, they added this, what we call a saw handle grip onto it, that extra little uh, bump in the, the handle, and this extra little spur underneath the trigger guard. And what it does is helps a fellow with big enough hands to hold it steady. And it's cap, um, the cartridge is a 44 Russian cartridge. It was made special for this gun. Now I can actually hit something with this. Now the Colt, there are times I'd be lucky to hit the broad side of the barn from inside. But with the Russian, I'm fairly good. It's a very good gun. <coughs> and for my saddle carbine, carry an 1873 Winchester, 4440, or 44 Winchester centerfire. And it's a carbine. We call it a carbine because it's short, short barrel on it. It's easier to handle on horseback. Has a nice natural aim to it, and it's lever action. So every time you do this, one shell, the empty casing gets ejected, and when you close it, a new round goes into the chamber. And this one will hold ten rounds at a time. And it's a very fast shooting gun, as fast as you can work. Work that, and I need to do some work inside of that by the sound of it. Uh, <clears throat> that's always good when you try to do a, a nifty demonstration and the machinery stops working on you. Uh, but it is a, a handy weapon to have while horseback. Uh, it helps me keep a little bit further away from trouble. If I can see it coming, I can start uh, preparing with this a lot sooner than I can with the pistols. Now sometimes I use it to bring in game as well, because uh, the menu that you'll be eating those six months is uh, what you might call consistent. Beans, biscuits, and some steak, and black, black coffee. That's it. That's what you're going to be eating the whole time. So if I get a chance at an antelope, or a buffalo, or a grizzly bear, something that would give a, a little bit of difference to your palate, to what we're going to be eating, uh, then I'm going to take it. I'm going to try to, to get something that would taste different, be a nice little change for everybody. 